Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a lot of people in the bodybuilding and fitness movement have said for years that actually fasting and training at the same time and fasting afterwards actually has a negative effect on your muscle gain and actually will cause you to lose muscle mass if you do not normally eat within an hour period afterwards with a protein rich food, which is just a complete load of misinformation as shown through scientific research, which I'll read out to you in a second. But before I do, I wanna state that I do one meal a day where I fast anywhere from 22 to 24 hours a day and eat anywhere from a one to three hour window. And I have found on my journey with intermittent fasting on a daily basis that it's not been affecting my muscle gain in a negative way whatsoever. And I found in under six months, I gained over 10 kilos of muscle and I have a very ripped body with a very low body fat percentage. So yeah, it's definitely not affecting my muscle gains in a negative way and actually breaking them down. And one thing I wanna add is I am a calisthenics athlete. So I have a body that looks like a pro gymnast or very similar to that. If I got into full on bodybuilding, then I would have a different body type that had a lot bigger muscles. But yeah, that's not what I'm going for. So now I'm gonna go on and read this study out to you. And this study was done by the International Society of Sports Nutrition. In the study, the researchers found a pretty clever way to examine the anabolic response to fasting. They looked at the Muslim population during the time of Ramadan. Ramadan is a holy month in which participants do not eat or drink during the day from dawn until sunset. However, there are still many Muslim athletes and even some studies on the effects of Ramadan on soccer and other sports, but not for weight training. The participants of the study were Muslim bodybuilders, but the results should apply to anyone looking to gain lean, muscle, mass, or strength. They weren't elite level bodybuilders, but rather they recreationally performed bodybuilding routines at least three days per week. The group of participants were split into two, those who exercised during the day while fasting and those who exercised at night after having eaten. Interestingly, as the fasting began, the total volume of exercise and the total calorie intake for the bodybuilders didn't really change. They seemingly ate larger meals in the evening to compensate and so their protein, fat and carb levels were roughly still the same each day. And that's what I say with me is, I may only eat one meal a day, but what I normally eat within that one meal is what someone would eat throughout the whole day. So I make sure that I'm getting enough of every single macronutrient and micronutrient to meet my needs and give me the most optimal state of health and help me get those muscle gains. The only major differences once fasting began were an improvement in body fat usage and some dehydration. For those Muslims participating in Ramadan, drinking a lot of water after sunset is ideal to help curb this. For those doing intermittent fasting for other reasons, however, the dehydration effect should be of no issue. The other finding of this study was that the time of day when resistant training was done had no impact on body mass and body fat percentage. It made no difference whether training happened after eating in the evening or whilst fasting during the day. The duration of the study was only four weeks, but I suspect this would largely carry on and perhaps as noted by the researchers, training may actually be enhanced due to a larger anabolic response from fasting. So yeah, as you can see from this study that I've read out to you, you do not need to be concerned about training in a fasted state and not eating for hours afterwards. And for me personally, I don't eat anywhere from two to six hours after to training and if you look into other research online it shows that when you're doing like high intensity interval training or stuff like intense calisthenics or bodybuilding while in fasting state it increases the amount of testosterone that your body naturally produces human growth hormone levels as well also lowers insulin even more improves insulin sensitivity and provides your body with a whole host of other hormonal and health benefits holistically as well so these two combined together are just a powerhouse for helping you burn off body fat whilst getting the fitness gains and energy levels and health that you desire as well within your mind and body holistically. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this with any, and please share the video with, and please share the video with anyone that you think needs to learn about what I shared with you today in relation to being in a fasted state and training and how it does not have a negative effect on your muscle gains whatsoever. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos to me on a regular basis where I'm talking about intermittent fasting and the science behind intermittent fasting, one meal a day informational videos, intermittent fasting informational videos, what I eat in a day videos with my one meal a day whole foods plant-based vegan journey, calisthenics workout videos, 
and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving the fitness levels, the energy levels, and the body you dream of obtaining and sustaining long term as well. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.